So in this video, we're going to look at the thermistor. Uh, before we do that, we kind of need to discuss what we would normally expect to happen for resistivity when we talk about things like metal, metal components in our circuits. What we see is that the resist resistivity excuse me, of a metal conductor increases with temperature. And remember, we saw that with superconductivity. We saw that below a certain point, below a certain temperature, your critical temperature, you actually had no resistance whatsoever. And then your resistivity just increased past that critical point. Uh, it went from being zero below the critical point, and then it just increased with temperature and, and got higher and higher as your temperature increased. And the reason this happens, the reason why the resistivity of a metal conductor increases with temperature, is just that it's made up of these, these positive ions that the electrons are kind of moving through to get this current going. And what happens is that as the thing heats up, the conductor's positive ions vibrate uh, more, at a, uh, more at a higher temperature because they have more energy. Uh, because of that, they're vibrating about more, it means that the conduction electrons can't travel through the metal as easily because they col they collide basically with these positive ions they're trying to get through and they collide with these positive ions that are shaking about more and that causes uh, current to, to be less uh, easily uh, passed through the component and because of that the, the current decreases. And what we say is that a metal has a positive temperature coefficient. All that means is that as you increase the temperature, its resistivity increases. We can see that here. We have resistivity on this axis, temperature on this axis. And we can just see that the, the line is slowly increasing as temperature increases. At any point, we need to note that the resistance of a component will be constant. Metal conductors obey Ohm's law. Uh, we see with this resistivity for, for a normal resistor or whatever, what we're saying is that Ohm's law specifically said it only happened at constant physical uh, uh, properties like temperature, etc. So what we're saying is here, uh, well, for each of these points, uh, a metal resistor or whatever would have a, a metal conductor would have a constant, a constant temp, uh, constant resistance, excuse me. But if we keep increasing the temperature slowly, what we'll see is that the res resistivity will increase a bit. So it's not a contradiction to say that it's, its resistance will increase with temperature. The point is that any specific temperature, its resistance will be constant. So uh, let's now think about, you know, does this have to be this way for metals? Clearly, real resistance increases as you heat up, but, but are there components that aren't like that? So the answer is yes. We see that just like a metal, the resistance of a thermistor is, is constant at a constant temperature. This is the symbol we use for a thermistor. We, we have this rectangle and we just put a this this kind of line through it like this it's a bit of a odd uh, drawing but you'll you'll learn to recognize it easily uh, it's very distinctive and this is this is a thermistor this is how we draw it just a resistor but with this this kind of line through it however what we know is that for for a thermistor the resistance of one made basically from an intrinsic semiconductor decreases as its temperature increases so remember we talked about semiconductors previously we said that actually hey guys to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and example specific A-level physics videos, just click the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and together let's make A-level physics a walk in the park.